The symptoms of pheochromocytoma can be very variable and can be missed for years and decades uh, uh, by doctors and, and nurses. But the top five symptoms of pheochromocytoma are high blood pressure, hypertension, a tachycardia, uh, meaning a racing heartbeat, headaches, anxiety, and sweating. So all these symptoms are due to the very toxic effects of the adrenaline type hormones, what we call catecholamine and metanephrines. Uh, those are what cause uh, these symptoms. And the symptoms from a pheochromocytoma uh, are often characterized by spells. Uh, a spell means an attack that occurs when uh, the patient has an acute event of these symptoms. These spells can often last five to 20 minutes. And uh, during that time, patients can get very, very dangerously high blood pressure. Uh, they sweat, they get uh, tremor, they feel their heart racing, they get very anxious. They can have this impending sense of doom, this sense that the world is about to end, that they're about to die. It's extremely, extremely uh, uncomfortable for, for patients. Um, some patients also get belly pain and, and chest pain as well. But what, what is important to remember is that not all patients with pheochromocytoma have symptoms. In fact, about 30-50% of patients with pheochromocytoma have no symptoms, meaning they are asymptomatic. So let me introduce to, to you one such patient uh, of mine that I operated on just a couple of weeks ago. She is 77 years old. She is strong as an ox. She's actually a farmer working her own farm. And indeed, she worked so hard from sunrise to evening that she was difficult to track down on the phone because she was always out working uh, on her tractor. But uh, she was feeling fine. Uh, she was strong. Uh, the only problem she had was that she had a little bit of high blood pressure, but she had had a CT scan for another reason. And that CT scan showed a 2.3 centimeter right adrenal tumor, uh, right adrenal tumor. And it didn't look like a typical bland, non-concerning uh, adrenal adenoma. It had some features that were concerning. So because of that, her uh, conscientious doctor actually had ordered a PET scan, which is another type of uh, scan. And that also showed some features that were concerning. So she then came to me clearly, uh, just based on the fact what the tumor looked like on the scan, she needed surgery. But we did work her up like we do with all patients and did check her uh, catecholamines. And they were slightly elevated, but not to the point where it would be a classic pheochromocytoma. So I took her to the operating room and performed a 16 minute right mini back scope adrenalectomy. And I can almost always tell in the operating room what kind of tumor I'm dealing with. And instantly I could tell this was a typical pheochromocytoma. She did great from the, the operation, she was cured. She spent just one night in the hospital, went then uh, home. And in fact, she was back on her tractor uh, driving around her farm within a couple of days. But the moral of the story, remember, not all patients with pheochromocytoma have symptoms and sometimes the symptoms are very atypical. So if the scan shows a tumor uh, that is concerning, it needs to come out 